Hello my beautiful Leos and welcome to your general reading. Today we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend or foe. Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa, okay? So just take what resonates, switch the genders, switch the roles, do what you have to do and leave the rest, my beautiful Leos, okay? So let's get the first message out for you. So what does the divine want you guys to know, okay? What is coming towards my beautiful Leos, okay? So we have inner child that wanted to come out, okay? Very interesting. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have body work, okay? So I feel like for some of you, you need to focus on your inner child or maybe that's what you're doing, okay? And um, maybe as a child, you were very active. You like to ride bikes, run around, um, just kind of um, exercise your body a lot. So I feel like you're doing something that you used to do when you were a child, Okay, maybe you were very adventurous, you like to explore, go to the park, you know, be more out in nature. So I feel like it's saying just do that. Now, for some of you, if you have children, um, maybe you're trying to spend more time with them or get them to do more activities. Because, you know, in this generation, everything is technology based now. So children are just on their phones, on their tablets. Um, do you know what I mean? Like they don't understand how it was back in the day with like when we used to just, you know what I mean? Just play, play out. I don't feel like anybody uses that terminology anymore. Like, let's play out. I'm going to go not for my friends, you know. Um, so I feel like you're trying to um, incorporate that when it comes to you and your children. If you do have children, you want to spend more time with them outdoors, playing more activities, okay? So beautiful energy, okay? Now, for some of you, your inner child, you could just be healing that right now, okay? Um, so, yeah. But let's just see where this is going. So you could just be feeling very playful right now. Or you're wanting to do exercises because you're just like, you know what, my body's not how it used to be. Like when I when I bend down, it's very hard for me to get back up. <laughs> you know the ones there, like, you know, like when children sit down and they can cross their legs and you just think, oh my goodness, like even I can't do that. I'm always that's why I'm always moving around on the camera when I'm doing face readings, because it's like I'll be crossing my legs and after a while, I'm like, I need to stretch my legs. I'm getting old, mate. So, yeah, for some of you, you could be stretching your body. You kind of want to be supple and flexible like how you was when you was younger, you know. So, you're trying to just keep up with your fitness. So, that's really beautiful. Maybe some of you go in gym or you're just doing workouts at home or things like that. Okay, so that's beautiful energy. So, let's just see where this is going or this is what you need to do. Wow, two cards wanted to fly out for you. It says, I'm optimistic and I'm attracting pure love, okay? So I feel like for some of you, you need to be optimistic about a love situation, okay? This is what it's saying. Or to have, you know, make sure that you're loving up on yourself, okay? Now, maybe somebody that you're dealing with needs to heal their inner child, and, you know, this is kind of what they're working on. Somebody's working on themselves with the body work there. Okay. Or this is you. Because you want love. Yeah, we've got I'm a tween player at the bottom of the deck. Somebody kind of wants to work as part of a team as you. Okay. Especially if you have children. Now, for some of you, you could be doing coaching as well. Maybe you love children. You love to work with kids. Okay. So you could be coaching or doing some kind of apprenticeship or something like that. I feel like you're really going to enjoy this job. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of energy, but I feel like you're really going to enjoy it. People look up to you as like some kind of role model or something like that, okay? But yeah, if you're worried about a loving situation, don't worry about it, okay? Be optimistic when it comes to your love life and just love in general or support. Maybe you want support from people. There's something that you're working on. You're not sure if people are going to resonate with your ideas. They will, okay? So gorgeous, gorgeous energy. Okay, so we have bad girl. It says, no more playing nice. Show them how bad you can be. And at the bottom of the deck, we have envy. It says, they're jealous, but what else is new? Haters gonna hate. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. I haven't seen that card in a long time. So, you know, here it is. Here it is now. So, I feel like there's somebody... Now, for some of you, you could just have, like, a child that's just a bit... You know what I mean? You know how some kids are in this day and age, and they're just always getting up to nonsense. But be optimistic that that is going to change. Okay, um, you know, I feel like you're getting the necessary support that you need. Like I said, there's there's things that you need to do when it comes to your children, or maybe you've got like a younger brother or a younger sister or somebody. Okay, 
um because i'm getting there's like a little bit of envy between you and like your siblings or maybe somebody's jealous of you because of like you know you have love and family in your life i don't know what's going on here okay but um just be optimistic that a situation is going to change out turn um change and become better you know everything is about your mindset okay yeah because you know underneath that we do have i am calm and relaxed and you know underneath body work we do have flow so yeah i feel like there's no need for you to worry about anything just relax now there are people around you that are jealous so i'm getting something about fake friends so it's almost like people want to be just like you but they're also very envious of you so just be very very mindful especially if you have kids don't trust nobody around your children is what i just heard okay but somebody is jealous or they're jealous of your love or they're just jealous that you're just an optimistic person that just keeps on going. I feel like you've healed your inner child. Maybe when you were younger, you were quite bad or you were troubled or you were a bit rebellious. Okay. Now, for some of you, you may have switched something up. Maybe you're too sweet and too kind and too loving and too happy, go lucky all the time. So you're kind of revert, you know, you're dying that energy down just a little bit. Okay. You're trying to work on not being over generous, trying to create some kind of balance. I just feel like, you know, whatever you do, there's always going to be haters. People are always going to be jealous. Okay. It just is what it is. But there's somebody around you that's just, they have a lot of inner work to do. Now, this could be like a lover that you're dealing with. Maybe your lover suffers from jealousy or, you know, um, maybe they're very possessive over you. You know, um, this could be this person just trying to be optimistic because I feel like, you know, this would be you with the sun here. It's almost like you give someone life, you ground somebody because this person loses their head. They lose their mind. But I feel like it's because they get really jealous. Maybe somebody just finds you really attractive. You know, like you're kind of like a baddie. You know, we're in that baddie culture and they're just afraid that someone's going to like take you away and impregnate you or something. I don't know. I feel like someone has like really ridiculous and irrational thoughts. Okay. Okay, so we have the singer here. So for some of you, you could be dealing with the singer, but I'm getting something about your voice. So I feel like somebody wants to tell you that they love you or you need to put this out into the universe, okay? Now, if you are on stage or you are a public speaker, I feel like you just have a lot of jealous people around you because you are loved. You bring optimism and vibration and vitality into people's lives. You're just very vivacious, very vibrant. So there's going to be people around you that are just jealous and they're just hating. Very childish individuals, very petty individuals, okay? Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have the fighter. Sorry about that, Leo. So yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have um, the fighter. So I feel like there's just people around you that's just like, you know, competing with you or trying to fight for your attention or something like that, okay? Or somebody kind of wants you to fight um because they're just jealous or somebody could be jealous of your your voice or maybe some of you, you do sing maybe you focus on like love songs or music i don't know what's happening here okay but i just feel like you know there's a potential there's you're potentially going to be under attack but if you are under attack it's just because you're shining you're vibrant and people just have a problem with that okay so let's just see where this is going Okay, so we have the page of wealth here, okay? So beautiful energy. So for some of you, you may find out that you're pregnant, but I don't think that that's what that's saying. Oh, if it is, I feel like this is going to stress you out with the 10 of passion. Okay, it could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn, Virgo or a Taurus, okay? Um, but somebody here wants to give you something, okay? But I kind of feel like whatever this comes with, you know, it's like a lot of work or a lot of stress. Now, for some of you, if you have been putting in that work, I feel like you're going to receive like your first um, purchase, first donation, first check. Okay. Somebody also may want to pay you to look after their child. Maybe somebody feels like you're really good with kids. I'm just really getting something about children here. Okay. Or somebody has been very childish, so they kind of want to prove something to you because I feel like someone is a bit stressed. Okay. Yeah, I was getting that. Empress, Emperor of Emotion, so the King of Cups. Yeah, so someone here loves you, okay? 
So like I said, it's either that you're loved and supported and people just feel some type of way about that. Because this could be two separate situations. I'm also getting that you don't want to deal with someone because their children are unruly. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here, okay? But heavy Scorpio energy, we have tr transformation at the bottom of the deck. So it definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio, but it could be any water sign. Somebody here wants to love you. I feel like someone is trying to work on themselves. They're trying to change themselves. You're going to see a very significant change in somebody's behavior because somebody wants you, okay? I feel like when you're not with this person, they're very emotionally unstable. So yeah, if you are, you know, because I feel like you fight, you bicker with this person or something along that, like, um, along those lines. But I'm getting like a token of love. Like somebody's going to prove to you that they love you. Now there could be this outside energy that's just fighting against you or against this connection or against whatever this is. Something that you have a love for because people are just jealous. Them jealous and them bad mind. Underneath that we have the gossip. Yeah, people just chatting shit. Yeah, and spying. Maybe somebody had to work on their own inner demons. Okay, this could go several different ways, okay? But there's love here. Somebody, I feel like they want to express their love. Maybe somebody's in a very bad place. But maybe you had to withdraw your energy. Like I said, you're not being nice anymore. Maybe you're just focusing on your coins. And, or, and you know, until somebody fixes up. Okay. Or not even until. I don't feel like you're waiting. But, you know... Because, yeah, remember, we did have I am a team player. So I feel like somebody knows that they need to work as part of a team with you. This could be, like like I said, a work situation as well. Because you know that when you work for someone and they treat you like shit, but it's like, well, you need me. I'm the person that's keeping the business afloat. So, I mean, you know, you can treat me like a slave or whatnot. But when I leave, then what are you going to do? You're gonna, I'm going to be very hard to replace. So I feel like someone understands that about you, Leo. You bring the sunshine. Yeah, look, we got the Ten of Wands again. It's almost like someone wants you to be stressed out. Could be a Sagittarius or somebody stressed without you. Like I said, someone has a lot of burdens. It's like, if you want me to do all of this work, you need to increase my pay because the pay is not that much money. We're looking for like the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe somebody's an apprentice as well. You know, you've got to start from somewhere, but you're still getting paid when you're an apprentice. But I feel like someone has a lot that they're carrying. This could be emotionally. And they want to let like get something off of their chest. So somebody wants to like send you like a sincere message. Yeah. The five of ones again. This is your energy though. I feel like a lot of people are competing. People are jealous of you, you know. Hopefully this isn't you. Okay. Like I said, there's a lot of fighting going on. And I was getting that before, fake friends. You know, be careful and mindful with who your friends are. Because I feel like you feel like people are supporting you. But really, they're not. Behind your back, they're gossiping, they're chatting shit. Okay. Or they're competing with you. Now, this could also be somebody wanting to fight off the, the attention that you're receiving because i feel like it's either somebody loves you and they want to fight for you but there's just so much jealousy around this love okay or you are very loved there's you work really hard there's something that you're doing religiously and there's just childish motherfuckers around you that just want to just you know bring you down basically but i feel like there's going to be an ending to that it could be family as well so underneath that we got the hermit yeah i feel like you're just gonna like you know just because I'm hearing, like, don't fight, don't compete. If somebody wants you, let them put in the work. Because you've got a lot of haters around you, Leo. This could be your body as well. Maybe it's the way that you look. You just look good. People just mad. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? There's be pe people out here that be paying for arse and tits, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> if you've got that naturally, just be happy. You don't have to be poisoning your body and yourself to look good like that's just so ridiculous to me okay so yeah i feel like there's a lot of reasons as to why people are jealous of you okay but like i said if this is like a loving situation let me pull a love card actually just so that because i'm attracting pure love came out 
just so that we can see. Okay, the love language. It says mutual understanding, attentive love, attentive love, sorry, and compromise. Yeah, so I feel like somebody wants to compromise. Maybe they wasn't getting your love language. Okay. They weren't putting in that work. And the subservient. It says um, dominant submission and control. Yeah. Like I was getting, I feel like someone's very jealous. They're very controlling. They want you to submit, but it's like, but you treat me like shit though. So what am I submitting to? Do you know what I mean? Okay, so, yeah, you need to put in the work. Exactly, that's what I've been saying. You know what? Listen, stop it. Let this person put in the work, okay? Don't you do nothing, Leos. You're supposed to be the one that's supposed to be receiving attention. Let someone put in the work for you. Again, you've been putting in work. So if you feel like something is taking its time, it's because um, there's a lot of competitive energy around you that's trying to stop you. Okay, so you may feel like something is a struggle, but it's not. It's these crazy ass bitches that are around. People probably doing like, you know, chaos magic and all of this shit. Just keep doing you, okay? Yeah, you need to be honest. So somebody needs to be honest here with you about something. Maybe this is your partner or this is somebody who loves it, loves you. Either way, honesty is going, you're going to know the truth about a situation. You're going to get clarity, yeah, and look underneath that. You're a goddess or a god. Stop, stop allowing people to treat you like you're regular. Exactly. Don't be fighting or arguing or nothing with nobody. If people, you know, don't want to recognize you for who you are, they want to be jealous and petty. Let them be petty. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, my beautiful Leos. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Let me know in the comment section, like, or subscribe to the channel. Bye.